The courtroom showdown over the multi-million dollar portrait of the late Fair Fawcett. At issue, who owns the Andy Warhol painting? Her longtime partner, Ryan O'Neill, taking the stand, saying it's his. ABC's Nick Watt has more. The time was 1980. And the place, Andy Warhol's factory. He created two near identical portraits of Farrah Fawcett. And 33 years later, Ryan O'Neill is choking back tears in court, remembering his late love and fighting to keep one of them, now worth millions, and he says, laden with sentimental value. The painting is mine, O'Neill told the court. But the University of Texas at Austin also wants it, claiming it's part of the collection Fawcett left to her alma mater. They just want expensive art. And it was hanging in Fawcett's condo when she died, before O'Neill took it. Didn't tell anybody what he'd done. O'Neill's explanation lies in a tempestuous chapter of his long relationship with the Charlie's Angel. It was 97, and they split when she caught him in bed with a 25-year-old at his Malibu beach house, the portrait hanging over the bed. O'Neill claims he then asked Fawcett to store the picture at her place. My young friend was uncomfortable with Farah staring at her, he told the court. How long have you known about this? The silver screen star of the 70s was a little hard of hearing and forgetful, telling a lawyer, you're throwing a lot of dates at me that just confuse me. And the jury's gonna have to decide whether he just has a faulty memory or whether or not what he said was a little different than what he'd said earlier. O'Neill claims he and Fawcett reconciled in 2001. I got diagnosed with cancer. I called her and it broke the ice. And now he wants to give this portrait to their son. Well, good morning, America. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles. And we're going to bring in ABC's Dan Abrams right now. Let's talk about O'Neill's actions, taking the painting after her death. Well, there's a simple legal question here, and that is, did this belong to, to Ryan O'Neill? Andy Warhol is dead. Farrah Fawcett is dead. And so Ryan O'Neill's credibility becomes crucial. So everything that he did gets scrutinized. Now, he went in after her death and took the painting. He admits that. What the university is saying is he was kind of squirreling it away. He was hiding it. No one knew he had it. He's saying, I wasn't trying to hide it at all. The university says, we only discovered it was at his home after seeing it on a reality show. He says there were no secrets there. And the fact that there are two paintings, how important is that? Well, you know, look, the, the team for Ryan O'Neill is saying, well, look, they've already got one, in essence. Uh, what do they need another one here for? But I think when it, the jury thinks about this, they're going to be thinking to themselves, OK, when Andy Warhol created this, mm -hmm. is it possible he was creating one for each of them? Why did he create two? Because remember, O'Neill is saying back when this was created in 1980, it was created for him, that he's the one who had the conversation with Andy Warhol about creating these. Uh, the university saying, no, Andy Warhol went directly to Farrah Fawcett. What do you think's going to happen here? Uh, it's what a tough case. I, I think, look, I think that O'Neill has a bit of an uphill battle because mm -hmm. the university has the other painting because Farrah bequeathed all of her artwork to the university. Right. But O'Neill's position is it was never hers to give away. So he's going to really have the burden to some degree here, uh, whether it's technically his burden or not. I think he's going to have the burden to demonstrate to this jury it belongs to him. All right, Dan. Thank you very much. Appreciate okay. that.